Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to talk about that modern auto stop start system that some cars have where you're driving on the road when you come to a stop and you're sitting it turns the engine off and then when you step on the gas it starts back up and runs. Now these auto stop and start systems are made to save gasoline and they really started full time in modern hybrid cars like the Toyota Prius. Now auto start stop works great in hybrid cars because they were designed that way to begin with. A hybrid car doesn't have a tiny little starter like a normal car that runs on 12 volts. It uses the generators inside the car to actually start the engine using a 500 volt battery. So it's no problem for that giant battery that's in the trunk of the Prius to start your car up and down and up and down. It's got a lot of power. But most cars still have these lead acid batteries. They're smaller. They're not made for continually starting and stopping the car. For these kind of apps, you need a deep cycle battery. Most cars still are using lead acid. They're not really deep cycle. Lithium ion, like in the Priuses, are. But when you think about it, they're making cars cheaper and cheaper. They're not going to be putting more and more expensive batteries in the cars just for this. And as I've already said, in the hybrid cars, they use these giant motor generators to start themselves up. On a regular car, they're using these tiny little starters. They're not made to be used over and over and over again. Now, granted, some of these auto stop start cars do have a more robust starter, but it's nothing compared to the generators that they use in the Priuses or any hybrid vehicle. These things are tiny compared to those huge things. And you might not think about possible engine damage from starting and stopping all the time, but I'm a mechanic and I think about it. Realize that your crank and your rod bearings get worn the most upon startups. And in a normal car, they're usually good for 100,000 starts and stops before they start to wear out. And that's fine for a normal car that you start up, drive around, and then later when you shut it off, you start it up. But with these things, you're going to be starting and stopping a lot more often. So you'd need bearings that were good to 300 or 400,000 of these cycles. So if you have start, stop, and a normal engine, hey, it's going to wear the rod bearings and the crank bearings and then you're going to have to rebuild the engine. That's something that a lot of people aren't going to think about but being a mechanic I think about that stuff and when I see damage that shouldn't occur I'm not for that system. And then let's get down to the nitty gritty. How much better gas mileage do you actually get with one of these auto stop start systems? Well they advertise that they get between 3 and 10 percent better gas mileage but you're only going to get 10 percent under very limited conditions. The temperature outside has to be moderate between 40 and 85 degrees. Higher or lower, you're not going to get much. And if you run the AC, you're generally going to get less than 3% better gas mileage because air conditioning uses a lot of power. This isn't like you're turning your whole car off by turning your ignition key off. It shuts the engine off, but other systems are still operating. So if it's hot outside, after a very short period of time, it's going to have to turn the engine back on to run the air conditioner. Now like I said previously, these systems work fine in hybrids like the Prius because the Priuses use electronic air conditioners and they got that big old 500 volt battery in the back. So even when the engine's not running, it can run the compressor with that 500 volt battery and you still feel nice and cool inside. But a normal car doesn't work that way. Now truth be told, there are a whole bunch of different auto stop start systems out there. Some of them that I've seen in Europe Heck, they use the alternator to start and stop the car. The alternators in those cars just spin the serpentine belt and instead of the car driving the alternator, the alternator is spinning to make the engine go. And some of them have electronic water pumps like BMWs, so the engine won't overheat if the car isn't running while it's sitting there. Because realize when you shut an engine off, it's got a lot of heat in it. It's what's called heat soaking. As it's sitting there heat soaking, it actually gets hotter. So the cooling system still has to be doing stuff even though the engine is shut off. And sure, Engineers can bypass these problems with some really high tech technology, but really when you think about it, all this technology that's going to break down the line and be really hard to fix, do you really want that to get a little bit less than 3% better gas mileage if you're running the air conditioner? That doesn't intrigue me. And for many people, there's just the annoyance factor of you driving and when you stop and the engine shuts itself off. Now they all do have a button you can push that turns the system off. Every time you start the car, if it drives you nuts, you can push that button and turn it off. And me, I find it rather annoying. Every time I get a rental car, 
car or I'm road testing a car that has that system on, first thing I do is push that button off so it runs like a normal car. Because if you want really good gas mileage and all these technology features, heck, go out and get a hybrid like a Toyota Prius. They were designed for that. Because really, when you think about it, these auto stop start systems, they kind of like a halfway measure. You know, they work fine in the hybrid cars, but in a gasoline car, it's trying to turn them into something that they really weren't meant for. Since I'm a mechanic and these systems have been out a little while now, they're starting to break. I got to fix them. Let me tell you, they're no fun to fix, and you're not going to be happy when you get this giant bill for fixing them right. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.